Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a $12 cigar, which I will admit I am quite excited to do. As it's been a little bit over a month since the last time I had a cigar, I'm pretty sure at least. And honestly, for the last about week or so, I really have been feeling like smoking a cigar. So I most certainly am very, very, very excited to, well, smoke a cigar with you guys in today's video and to let you guys know what I think of the cigar that I am going to be smoking in today's video, the Deadwood Tobacco Fat Bottom Betty, which I have heard some amazing things online about. I've previously tried another one of Deadwood Tobacco's cigars before, the Crazy Alice, and I thought it was fantastic, but apparently this one is supposed to be even better. Just about everything I've seen online about this cigar right here has been positive. So I most certainly am very excited to find out whether this cigar right here is worth the price of $12 and whether it's worth the hype that I've been seeing on this cigar online. But I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get the plastic all off of it and let's go ahead and just take a look at what the cigar actually looks like real quick. Let's see if I can get this plastic off. I think I'm just gonna have to squeeze it from the bottom and just have it all come up. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got got it coming out. You know what I'm saying? Got it coming out. Let's go ahead and get this cigar out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the plastic in my backpack right here so it don't be littering or nothing like that because I will admit it is a little bit windy today. But taking a look at the cigar as a whole, we can see we get uh, not like a super dark wrapper by any means or anything like that kind of thing, but it is definitely darker than not, I'd say. We can just see it just says Fat Bottom Betty right down here on a very nice sort of a like light blue with some black and some and some other designs going on and everything like that kind of thing. And then we could see, uh, well, Fat Bottom Betty herself, I assume, right there. Yep, it just says, uh, Fat, fat Bottom Betty right there, and then it just says uh, Deadwood Tobacco right there as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I gotta admit, the look for this cigar, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice look, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, and I do like the whole sort of a, the whole sort of a design with the sort of like skeleton slash like, I guess like sugar skull sort of design on the cigar kind of thing. I think it looks pretty good, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And overall, I definitely do like the look of this cigar, that is for sure. I'm gonna go and take off the ring on the bottom because, well, I can't smoke the cigar with that ring on there. I do suppose I could, but I would really prefer not to because I don't think the beginning of the cigar is really going to taste very good. And now I've gotta go ahead and cut the uh, the lid off of this cigar right here. Got to go ahead and cut the... I can't remember what the actual name is in all honesty. I've got my cigar cutter with me today, though. Just some, like, cheap $3 cigar cutter. Let's see. This barely fits in there. I don't really know how much I should cut off. I am still very much a cigar-smoking novice, and I'm just learning as I go kind of thing, but I think I'm just probably going to try to go for, I think, like, that much. I think I'm going to try to go for, like, that much. And yeah, I've got to kind of commit to that now because I did. Let's see, I'm just gonna. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for another, another one, honestly. All right, there we go. Let's just clean that up just a little bit, kind of thing. All right. I think that hopefully should give me a good airflow and everything like that, kind of thing. Hopefully that should give me a good airflow. I'm not sure if I cut too much. I'm not sure if I cut too little, but hopefully that will be good enough. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys can really see that properly, but hopefully the amount I cut will be good. And today I have two different lighters that I was thinking about using to light this cigar right here. I have my jumbo crack lighter, and I also have a uh, clipper jet lighter. Now, I was gonna use this lighter if it wasn't super windy, but it is kind of it is kind of windy, so I'm thinking I might use this one. But I am gonna try to use my jumbo crack lighter to light my jumbo cigar, because let me tell y'all what this cigar is pretty huge. I am not sure whether I'm actually gonna be able to finish it off in today's video or not. Otherwise, I might just be smoking here for like three hours on end, kind of thing, because I don't smoke cigars super fast by any means. But let's go ahead and start toasting this cigar right off the bat. And I gotta admit, the flame size on this lighter is perfect for toasting cigars. But uh, it being a soft flame is not so perfect with it being windy. It would be perfect if uh, it wasn't windy out here, but it is slightly windy. But let's just go ahead and just keep toasting this real quick. And yeah, I'm thinking I might try to use the jet as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pump that up. Let's see.
Got some tobacco. I feel like the tip is definitely sweetened. I definitely do feel like the tip is sweetened and I definitely do not have this fully lit up yet. I think I just got this all lit up. So let's go ahead and just keep at it. Yeah, definitely not quite fully lit up yet. All right, hopefully that should be good. Right off the bat though, no, this is not bad. It's kind of giving me right off the bat a sort of very nice, mellow, sweet taste with a hint of roughness in the back of my throat, which could also be spiciness, but I think it's probably just roughness in the back of my throat because I haven't smoked a cigar in a while. I don't think it's actual spiciness from the cigar, but I do suppose I'll probably find out very, very, very soon, that is for sure. But no, so far so good. Not bad at all. And I do think I need to keep lighting this just a little bit more kind of thing. Oh, I don't think this is liking me right now. Oh no, it's still going. Okay, I might just use this lighter. I don't know what's going on with my clipper lighter. No, right off the bat, not bad, not bad at all. I will admit, I was reading online that the Deadwood Tobacco cigar I smoked previously, the Crazy Alice, was actually less sweet than this cigar right here. But I feel like this cigar is less sweet. I mean, like it's not not sweet by any means kind of thing. This is definitely still a sweet cigar and it's not flavored, it's not infused, it is 100% just tobacco as well. I should have mentioned that, but I completely forgot to until this point, but no, not bad at all if I do say so myself. Certainly not bad at all if I do say so myself. Um, no, this is pretty good. I don't really have too much else to, I don't really have too much to say about it right off the bat, just simply because I haven't smoked a lot of it. I haven't really gotten to the point where I kind of know what flavor it is actually like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep puffing away, you know what I'm saying? Not bad at all. I do definitely need to get the rest of this all lit up though, because this is not, I don't know what the deal is with this. It's not one to light it off. There we go, now it's lighting. I'm trying to make sure I get the edges all lit up as well. because I do feel like I definitely lit it unevenly today. I do definitely feel like I did that by accident. Well, it is what it is. You live and you learn, I do suppose. You live and you learn, I do suppose. Hopefully it'll even out as I'm smoking. Excuse me. Very interesting taste though. Very interesting taste. And I'm having a hard time kind of pinpointing what the taste is like. I will admit, there is like a slight spiciness to the taste. Not bad at all, just very interesting. A slight sort of spiciness to the taste with some sweetness in there as well. Interesting. Interesting. Oh yeah, and I'm glad I definitely did that because now it's burning a lot more evenly now. As we can see, it's definitely burning a lot more evenly now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Huh, what is the taste like? I'm kind of struggling to describe what the taste of this uh, cigar is like. The Crazy Alice, which I smoked previously, in my opinion, tasted like straight dark chocolate. It tasted fantastic, it was very much to my preference. I loved it. This does not taste like dark chocolate, in my opinion. I do feel like the tip of it is sweetened, I will admit. 
maybe it was. I don't think if it was sweetened, I got all that off uh, quite a while back, that is for sure. But it's just, this definitely doesn't taste like dark chocolate to me, at least. It has more of a sort of a, I'd have to say, mm -hmm. Like sort of like sweet, spicy taste. But it's kind of hard to describe. It is kind of hard to describe. It's kind of, kind of like, like the spiciness kind of hits the back of your throat, but the sweet taste is all in your mouth and everything like that kind of thing. Not bad at all. Very interesting, but very hard to describe at the same time. Very interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'm smoking it a little bit too fast. I'm not sure in all honesty. Maybe that's why I'm getting sort of a, a taste I can't really distinguish. I'm not exactly sure. But I mean, like either way, I'm like, this is not bad at all. This is still pretty good. Right off the bat, we're 10 minutes into the smoke. Well, not even 10 minutes into the smoke. We're more like really five minutes into the smoke. Would I say this is a cigar I would buy again? Eh, right off the bat kind of thing, not really. I don't really think this is a cigar I'd buy again. It's just not exactly to my preference, but it's certainly not bad. And actually, I, I retract that statement. I retract that statement. This is actually a cigar I'd buy again, but I would have to be in the mood for it. I'd have to be in the mood to buy this cigar. This is not a cigar that I could just smoke every time I'm wanting a cigar kind of thing. The Crazy Alice, I feel like I could just smoke any anytime I want a cigar kind of thing, I feel like I could smoke one of those. This is not the same way. I would have to be in the right mood to smoke one of these, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think I know what the taste is like now, though. I've been thinking about it, and I, know, I think I know what the taste is like. It's kind of like, hmm. like a burning hot tea sort of taste. That's kind of what it tastes like. And the only other cigar I can really think that is kind of like that is actually a flavored cigar, an infused cigar, and it's the Acid Blondie, which is a cigar that I do like quite a bit. And I will admit this kind of tastes like a non-flavored, non-infused Acid Blondie, but a lot bigger because Acid Blondies are not nearly this big. This is not bad at all. No, this is not bad at all. But it's definitely a cigar that I'm glad I'm trying now because this is not a cigar that would fit every time I want a cigar that is for sure. But certainly not bad. I think I'd buy the skin right off the bat though. Very interesting. Sort of like a little bit of spiciness in the back of your throat, almost like hot tea kind of thing. I don't really feel like that's the right way of describing the taste of this cigar. But I would say this is definitely more comparable to like the Acid Blondie than it is to the Crazy Alice, which is very surprising. And uh, I keep mentioning Crazy Alice and the Acid Blondie because those are really the only cigars I've ever really smoked that I've actually ever liked. Um, and this is definitely going on the list of cigars that now I've smoked and now I like, uh, but it's definitely not going at the top of the list, that is for sure. I'd have to say, it's a little bit less sweet, a little bit less. It's a lot less sweet than the, to me at least, I don't know. I was reading online when doing research on this cigar and I heard people saying that this cigar was more sweet than the Crazy Alice, which I was like, how can you get more sweet than Crazy Alice? Because the Crazy Alice was insanely sweet. It tasted like dark chocolate kind of thing, like really sugary dark chocolate. I was like, how do you get more sweet than that? And this, in my opinion, is not more sweet than the Crazy Alice. But that's not a bad thing at all. It's just a different smoke. It's just a different cigar kind of thing. I would have to say, pretty much though, taste-wise, this tastes like a less sweet version of the Acid Blondie, a less sweet, uninfused, unflavored Acid Blondie. That's kind of what this tastes like, in all honesty. To me, at least, not bad at all, but definitely not my favorite uh, cigar by any means. Man, it's getting a little bit breezy, I ain't gonna lie, y'all.
Oh, man, oh man. Yeah, this is definitely making me feel pretty good though, I ain't gonna lie on. Definitely making me feel pretty good. I'm feeling pretty dang good right now if I do say so myself. Definitely getting that very nice like cigar-like buzz kind of thing. Oh man, I'm feeling good right now, y'all. I'm feeling good right now. Man, just getting that very chill, cigar-like buzz. I'm feeling good right now, y'all. I really am feeling good right now. And I do think it got a little bit brighter out. There's a little bit cloudy when I started the video, but I think I might need to grab my sunglasses now. So I'm gonna go and do that. Grab my sunglasses. Ooh. We ballin', you know what I'm saying? We ballin'. Definitely need to get better at taking uh, deeper hits of my cigar, that is for sure. I say that and I can't even really take deep bits of a cigarette, so it's gonna take some practice, that is for sure. I think I might open up my bottle of water though. I might have to put my cigar down to open up my bottle of water because I brought a completely 100% fresh bottle of water with me uh, and it's uh, a little bit hard to get open with one hand. So I might have, to, uh, might have to put my cigar down and I don't have an ashtray with me today. I'm just sitting outside, so I don't have an ashtray or nothing like that kind of thing, but Maybe that's something to consider in the future. Maybe I should get myself like a nice cigar ashtray. I have a nice cigar ashtray in all honesty. Maybe I should bring that with me next time so I can just set my cigar down whenever I'm smoking and everything like that kind of thing. That sounds like a good move, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But no, I really am chilling right now. I'm just chilling kind of thing, just enjoying the vibe. Just uh, enjoying the very nice, uh, very calming, relaxing, head buzz I'm getting off of this cigar right here. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Uh, the taste of the cigar hasn't really changed all that much. It kind of comes off uh, like an unsweetened version of the acid blondie to me. Just kind of tastes like hot tea. I'd say like kind of spicy hot tea. Um, and it just kind of comes off like an unsweetened version of the acid blondie. If you guys have tried this cigar, the uh, Deadwood Tobacco Fat Bottom Betty, let me know whether you guys think I'm right. Let me know whether you guys think I'm wrong. Um, it just doesn't come off as the most sweet cigar to me, that is for sure. But maybe it's just the individual cigar that I'm smoking. Maybe I got a bad batch or something like that kind of thing. Who knows? Because um, I was hearing that this cigar was supposed to be pretty sweet, but it's not coming across as sweet to me, at least that is for sure. But you know, it just kind of comes off like an unsweetened uh, acid blondie, but that's not a bad thing at all. I like the sweetness of the acid blondie, but it can be a little bit overwhelming, that is for sure. Um, but this, on the other hand, comes off more like an unsweetened version of the acid blondie, and that's not a bad thing at all kind of thing. That's not a bad thing at all. I think this is pretty solid for what it is. Although it's definitely not like my favorite cigar I've ever smoked kind of thing. I can definitively say that even though we're only 20 minutes in the video kind of thing. I can definitely say this is not my favorite cigar I've ever smoked. It's just not exactly to my preference kind of thing. Uh, but it, it is a cigar I would buy again if I was really feeling like it kind of thing. If I wanted a cigar that wasn't super sweet, still had a pretty interesting taste to it, but still had a mild sweetness to it kind of thing. Because this is not like a sour. I mean, like it is a more sour cigar than not. Um, but it does definitely have a tinge of sweetness to it kind of thing, I'd say. Although that sweetness is definitely more overpowered by the sort of spicy sourness of the sort of like tea-like taste, I'd say. Um, but if I wanted something that was a little bit less sweet, a little bit more uh, mild sweetness-wise, I'd definitely buy this again. But in all honesty, I'd have to be in the mood for it. I can't see myself buying this cigar on any regular basis. And uh, I will admit $12 is a bit over budget for me as well. Um, I like to kind of, whenever I'm buying a cigar kind of thing, I like to, if I can, I like to stick under 10 bucks kind of thing. Uh, I don't like to spend a lot of money. I'm a cheap ass after all. And so I like to try to stay under $10, although $12 is not really going that far over. Uh, and I want to say the Crazy Alice last time I bought one was like eight fifty, dollars and uh, uh, Acid Blondies are like, I don't know, seven bucks kind of thing. Both of those are very much within my price range. Oh, not bad at all though. Very enjoyable smoke. Definitely enjoying it so far, that is for sure. Oh, 
Ooh, yeah, a little bit rough. Chain and hits off of a cigar, not the move I ain't gonna lie on. There we go. Hopefully, should be all set for screenshots for the video now, though. But uh, got to get a little bit of a screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. But um, no, I'm feeling, especially after those last, uh, what, four or five hits kind of thing, I'm feeling pretty buzzed right now. I'm feeling pretty good, that is for sure. I think I might go and just put my cigar, oh man, and the wind is picking up. I was thinking about putting my cigar down, but now the wind's picking up, and I don't want my cigar dropping onto the ground because the wind, that would suck. That would suck a lot, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But no, I'm really just enjoying this right now. Honestly, I'm just chilling. It's just a good time. I'm sitting in a very nice, comfy chair. And uh, glad they got some lounge chairs at the park I'm sitting at right now. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time. It's a good time. Just enjoying the vibe. It's not super warm today. It's not super cold today. I'm wearing a little bit of a sweater because there is a little bit of a breeze. But if there wasn't a breeze, I'd be wearing just the short sleeve that's under my sweater. It's a good time. It's perfect cigar smoking weather especially since I have a roof over my head because it's been drizzling and on and off today, that is for sure. So I had to have a roof over my head today because I was like, if I'm halfway through this garden, it starts raining, I'm gonna be pissed. That's gonna ruin the vibe. So I was like, I gotta be smoking with a roof over my head today, that is for sure. I will admit though, this cigar is not super smooth by any means. They definitely do be giving you a decent amount of roughness, that is for sure. Um, definitely, I'd say it's probably because of the amount I cut off of this. If I guess you want a smoother smoke, you can cut less. If you want a bolder smoke, you can cut more. And I cut almost the entire tip off kind of thing. So I figure that's probably a lot of the reason why. Um, but I definitely do prefer a slightly smoother smoke as well. Even though I'm not inhaling, I can definitely still have, I, I can definitely still feel the roughness in the back of my throat. But the roughness I will admit is pleasant. It's not bad by any means, but it's just something to enjoy every once in a while, not all the time, that is for sure. And I know this is, what is it, sacrilege, but I might go ahead and ash my, uh, I might go ahead and ash my cigar. I feel like this, uh, the ash, you know what? Actually, I was saying I wanted, I was kind of thinking I wanted to ash my cigar, but you know what? I want to let it go as long as I can. I want to let it go as long as I can. So I don't think I'm actually going to ash my cigar, I will admit. I think instead I'm just going to put my cigar down for a minute. And if it wants to ash itself, it can, because I need some water. There we go. Much better. Alrighty and it did not decide to ash itself. All right, if it wanted to ash itself, it could, but it decided not to. So we still chilling with the ash, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I will admit, I do have couple minor complaints on my behalf but I mean like it's nothing major kind of thing it's nothing major I definitely just have to say the taste is not exactly to my preference kind of thing um I do prefer a sweeter cigar and while this does have did have it, it definitely at the beginning of it it did have more sweetness than it has now I definitely have to say it's gotten more sour as I've smoked my way through it but I definitely have to say the complaints I have are just very minor. I'd say taste, roughness, and price, in all honesty. I mean, like, it's still not even really that bad of a price. 12 bucks for a cigar is really not all that bad, in all honesty. Um, but it's definitely not the cheapest cigar out there either, but certainly not terrible by any means. The roughness is pleasant. So while it is a little bit of a complaint, it's not something I'd want all the time. It is certainly not bad at all, and it's just me being a cigar amateur, in all honesty. And I definitely have to say the taste just being not exactly to my preference. It's not really something that I really mind all that much, I don't mind smoking a cigar that isn't exactly to my preference and trying a new cigar kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But what I can say is that this cigar is definitely not going to be one of my favorites. It's not going to be making it into my top two cigars, that is for sure. Um, but it's still not a bad cigar by any means. The quality is there. The weight is there. The roughness is there kind of thing. If you like roughness kind of thing, this cigar is for you kind of thing. And it does still have a more interesting taste than not. It's just not an interesting taste that is exactly to my preference.
Oh man, gotta exhale through my nose. Oof, that was rough. Almost made me cry. I did that a couple times earlier in the video too, but it was tiny, it was tiny little puffs coming out of my nose, so it didn't burn. That burned, that burned a lot. But you know, I think now that I've been smoking the cigar for, I think over 25 minutes now, not over 25 minutes, sorry, over 20 minutes now, I think I can kind of give an accurate description of the taste. I'm just gonna give me a moment. I'm gonna give myself a moment to kind of get my words all together though. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I am feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling very relaxed right now. The cigar buzz is certainly hitting, that is for sure. But I definitely have to say, the Fat Bottom Betty Cigar by Deadwood Tobacco tastes yeah, like semi-spicy hot tea kind of thing. That's what I'd say it tastes like, like semi-spicy hot tea. It was a little bit sweet at the beginning, but as I've smoked my way through it, it's gotten less and less sweet, getting more and more sour and spicy. It's a very interesting taste. It's not exactly to my preference, I will admit, but it's not bad at all kind of thing. It's not bad at all. Just not exactly to my preference. But you know, sort of like a, an unsweetened, sort of spicy hot tea, I definitely have to say, is the right way of describing this cigar right here. If you guys have smoked this cigar though, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think the taste is like. I'm not very good at describing uh, what cigars taste like. I will admit I think I'm all right at describing what cigarettes taste like. Cigars are a completely different beast on the other hand. So let me know what you guys think this cigar tastes like in the comments down below if you guys have smoked this one previously. I will admit though, I am surprised at how quickly this cigar is burning. I am quite surprised at how quickly this cigar is burning. I did not expect this cigar to be burning this quickly. I thought it was a, probably gonna be like a solid, probably a two hour cigar. And I, I certainly do think it could be. I'm probably just gonna end it right there in all honesty. So I think this is gonna be a solid hour cigar for me in all honesty. And no complaints on my behalf. This is pretty good. This is pretty good if I do say so myself, but I thought this cigar was gonna be burning for a little bit longer than it is, but no, it's just not bad kind of thing. It's it's burning mildly quickly kind of thing. It's certainly not a slow burning cigar by any means, I'd say. It is a fatty, so it is burning slower than not, but I mean like, hey, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Gotta be gotta be smoking fatties always, you know what I'm saying? Always gotta be smoking fatties. Very interesting though, very interesting. Hmm. Man, can't complain, I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm just gonna set it down for a minute. I should've brought a little bit of a snack with me in all honesty, I'm kinda getting hungry. Cigars making me want some uh, want some food or something like that kind of thing. I ain't gonna lie. Usually nicotine makes me not want food, but no, the cigars make me want some food. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Man, oh man, I cannot believe this cigar doing me dirty. I didn't. It knows I didn't bring a snack, so now it's just torturing me. I should have brought a snack, but I didn't. I even thought about bringing a snack beforehand, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna have my snack at home after the video. It is what it is. It is what it is. I do think this is going to ash sooner rather than later, though. So I'm considering just going ahead and ashing it. I don't know. Oh, uh, wow, that burned. I tried to exhale through my nose and that burned so much. I think it's especially since I took a, a really big hit. That kicked my ass, that kicked my ass. I am gonna be holding my cigar away from me though because I feel like the, it's, I feel like it's gonna ash sooner rather than later and I don't feel like having hot ash on my leg. It does not sound like a pleasant experience. I will admit, 
Yeah, cigarette ash, ashing your uh, ashing a cigarette. When I mean ashing, I don't mean stubbing a cigarette out on yourself. I mean ashing on yourself by accident or something like that kind of thing. Uh, it's not so bad because it's tiny kind of thing. It might burn for a second and it goes away and it might leave a little bit of a mark or something like that. This, on the other hand, is huge. I like, I think that would really hurt if it if it was still hot and it hit me kind of thing. I don't want that hitting me. No, thank you. I think I'm all good. You know what I'm saying? I think I am just chilling with that. I don't know what was going on with my uh, clipper jet lighter, though. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, it seems to be working okay. I don't know what was going on with it. Maybe I overheated it. I wouldn't be surprised if that was it. It does seem to be working okay. Weird. Uh, I've got to get myself a real cigar lighter, though. I ain't gonna lie. This uh, certainly wasn't bad, but the flame just is not big enough. Um, but no, not a bad lighter to light cigars with, I will admit. Uh, this, though, if it wasn't windy, this would be perfect to me. Like, look at how big this flame is. Well, it's not the biggest right now, but... I mean, like, it was pretty big kind of thing. It was pretty good. Big. It did a good job at lighting the, at a toast in the cigar and everything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But, man, let me tell y'all what. I'm feeling so buzzed right now, though. I'm feeling very relaxed. I'm feeling very buzzed. I'm feeling very good right now. Cigar be hitting. Cigar be hitting. I love my cigarettes. I love my nicotine. I love my nicotine in general. But I love my cigarettes. Cigarettes, my favorite nicotine product kind of thing, by far. My favorite tobacco product, by far. But I will admit, cigars hit different. Cigars really do hit different. And they're just so nice to have every once in a while. They're just so nice to have every once in a while. I wouldn't want to smoke a cigar every day, I will admit. But um, I think having like a cigar like once a week, every two weeks, it's just a perfect thing to just kind of chill out, just kind of uh, enjoy nature a little bit and uh, just kind of enjoy yourself and kind of have a mind go blank kind of thing for, for a while kind of thing. It's just kind of a good thing to enjoy every once in a while and uh, it's definitely different enough from cigarettes where it's its own separate experience. And it's definitely uh, got a different buzz. It just hits different kind of things. Cigars definitely just hit different. And while it's definitely not my favorite uh, tobacco smoking method, I'd say, uh, it is still very good nonetheless. And I definitely do still very much enjoy smoking cigars. I think I'm gonna go in ashes, ashes. This is making me nervous. There we go. Oh yeah, and that just all came off in one big chunk. I know, I just committed sacrilege. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry, y'all. I was so scared it was gonna come off. I don't think it would have honestly come off particularly quickly. I think I probably had another while until it came off, but I was getting a little bit nervous, so I wanted it gone. Hmm, why is Ashing a cigar sacrilege. I've never questioned that. I try not to ash a cigar as much as I possibly can because I do know it is sacrilege. It's, I think it affects the way the cigar burns and I've heard it affects the way the cigar tastes as well. Why would it affect the way the cigar tastes? Is it because the ash is cooling down the embers to make them taste better? And so when you ash it, the embers get hotter because all of a sudden you're exposing it to more air and so it burns hotter and you get a worse taste. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply about this. I don't know. That seems right, though. That seems right. I have no clue why it's why, why ashing a cigar is sacrilege, but I mean, like, hey, good things to think about. What a, uh, I feel like the ash probably helps with the taste. I think that's I think that's what I've heard. I will admit, now that I've ashed it, it's actually slightly less sour now. It's actually slightly less sour and slightly less spicy. Very interesting. Huh, that's pretty amusing, I ain't gonna lie on. Or maybe the ash uh, makes it burn hotter. I doubt that. I think it's probably, if anything, it's probably the ash makes the, uh, the embers cool down a little bit because it's getting exposed to less air. And so you get a more, you get cooler smoke, I guess and you get a better taste because it's not burning as hot kind of thing. I don't know. Am I right, am I wrong? Let me know in the comments down below if y'all know. That's, I think that's a pretty good guess personally. I really have no clue though. I don't know what I'm talking about. I am no expert by any means.
But no, very enjoyable though. Definitely enjoying this cigar and get a lot of y'all. I will admit, when they said this cigar is the fat bottom belly, it is the fat bottom Betty. They meant it. They meant it. Because this cigar is a fatty. And it's given me a fatty buzz. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm feeling so good right now, y'all. I'm feeling so good right now. I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling right now. I'm gonna put my cigar down just for a moment. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, take another sip of water. Trying to think of a good drink that would go with this cigar. I'm not a liquor person, but like something besides water. I mean, like, of course, like, you can't go wrong with a Monster Zero Ultra, but <laughs> I don't know if I, I mean, like, cigarettes and monsters, cigarettes and energy drinks in general, they go together so well. I don't know about a cigar and an energy drink. I think that might be kind of sacrilege. Uh, and either way, I don't think I'd really want to have an energy drink with a cigar. Um, I just don't really think that would be the most pleasant thing in the world, uh, yeah, I will admit. I'm thinking with this cigar, I don't know. It's kind of sour, so if I wanted the taste match, I think like a lemon sour would be kind of good. Although honestly, hot tea with this cigar would be pretty gas as well. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind drinking hot tea. This tea, this cigar, kind of tastes like un like like unsweetened. It kind of tastes like a sour hot tea or something like that kind of thing. It's very interesting. I think hot tea would go pretty well with this. Probably sweet tea would go pretty well with this as well. Arizona Arnold Palmer, probably a little bit too sweet, but like a mild sweet tea might go well with this or unsweet tea. I'm not really an unsweet tea kind of person. As long as it's cold, I drink all my hot tea with no sugar in it. So I guess that's unsweet tea. But if it's cold tea, I don't, I don't go for, I don't go for unsweet kind of thing. I go for sweet tea, although I don't really be drinking cold tea much anymore. But I feel like unsweet tea maybe would go well with this, although I feel like maybe something to contrast, give yourself a like, little bit of a sweeter taste kind of thing. Maybe sweet tea would be nice. I don't know, I kind of feel like a lemon sour maybe could go well with this. I'm not really much of a liquor person, um, but I'm sure some of y'all might enjoy smoking like this with uh, while enjoying a drink of like bourbon or whiskey or something like that kind of thing. I have no clue what would go well, what, what liquor would go well with this. I will admit I'm not a liquor person uh, by any means. But uh, this is a solid cigar nonetheless. Solid cigar nonetheless. I like the taste of change there for a moment. I've heard that some cigars do change taste like halfway through. Maybe this is one of them. I don't know. I feel like this, the, the taste changed slightly. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I do feel like it's gotten more mild as a whole. It's not really gotten any more sweet, but I do feel like it has gotten more mild as a whole. Very interesting. Maybe the taste is changing. And that wind is making me cold. I'm glad, really glad I brought a sweater today. <laughs> I'm really glad I brought a sweater today, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Cause that wind is chilly. No, oh, very interesting. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Just watching the cars go by. I think I see a Genesis, Honda Civic. I see a Hyundai Elantra. Toyota Yaris sedan. Ooh, Yaris sedan. I prefer the hatchbacks though. Honda Ridgeline. No complaints on my behalf. It's a minivan with a truck bed. 
can't hate on it kind of thing. Nissan Sentra. Nissan Sentra? Uh-uh-uh-uh. Nissan Suru. That's what's up. Nissan Suru, that's what's up. Nissan Sentra? Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. uh na 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 Nissan Suru. That's what's up. Although that is literally just a Nissan Sentra. Just an old generation of the Nissan Sentra. But no, it's a beautiful day today, y'all. The wind, definitely getting a little bit chilly. But uh, nonetheless, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. And uh, it's a great day to enjoy a little bit of a smoke. I think I'm just going to give myself a little bit. <laughs> I'm feeling really buzzed right now. I'm feeling really nice right now. I ain't going to lie. Definitely glad I brought my water. I had like a half full bottle of water in the side of my backpack. And I was like, oh, do I need to grab a full bottle of water? And I was like, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to grab a full bottle. And let me tell you what, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I grabbed a full bottle because the bottle I was at had only like this much in it. Man, I'd be dead right now if I didn't, if I only brought that bottle. I would have had to go get myself another bottle of water. Maybe the taste is changing because, huh. Maybe the taste is changing because I was smoking faster earlier on in the cigar, so the embers were hotter. But now that I've kind of chilled out, I'm only taking a hit every once in a while kind of thing. Maybe that's why it's calmed down a little bit. Maybe that's why it's gotten a little bit more mild. And I will admit, slightly more sweet as well. Huh, very interesting. I don't know. Excuse me bourbon slightly more sweet not significantly so though it is definitely still more unsweet hot tea spicy taste than not Nissan Rogue. I can see my car from here. A Nissan Rogue just parked next to my car. I'm the only car in the parking lot. <laughs> That's always how it be, though. Uh, I guess they didn't technically park right next to my car. They parked one spot over, but still. I'm the only car in the parking lot. Very solid cigar though, very solid cigar. I'm just feeling so buzzed right now, y'all. I ain't really, my mind, my mind is kind of blank. I'm just enjoying it. <gasps> oh man. Oh. <sighs> just chilling, literally just chilling. Wow, feeling good right now. Oh, Chevy Suburban, mid-2000s. Oh, that's a sweet ride coming up the hill over there. Very nice, if I do say so myself.
Whew. I'm just gonna give myself a minute though. I'm just gonna chill out. Wow. I'm feeling especially buzzed right now. Wow. Cigar's kicking my ass a little bit. I think I might smoke for like the next 15 minutes or so. But after that, I think I'm just gonna be chilling kind of thing. And uh, so I think I'm probably gonna enjoy some more of the cigar and then probably end the video after I feel like I've enjoyed the cigar and uh, gotten my money's worth, that is for sure. Honestly, I already feel like I got my money's worth. But, no, not bad at all. Definitely not my favorite cigar by any means. Definitely would much rather buy other cigars. But um, it's not not an enjoyable cigar, that is for sure. It is still very much an enjoyable cigar. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm gonna go and take this uh, thing off right here. Oh no! I gotta stand up. I just ashed right on myself. Oh, <laughs> oh man, y'all see that? I ashed right on myself. Oh no! Oh no! The, what I feared was gonna happen earlier in the video happened right when I was not expecting it to happen. I expected it to happen earlier on in the video, and then it happened right when I was not expecting it to happen. I, I pretty much brushed right out of my pants, though. Even though I'm wearing black, I pretty much brushed right out. Can't complain. I'm just gonna get... Get that off. Oh, man, I cannot believe... I can't... I cannot believe that. I really was not expecting that. I was like, nah, the ash is all good kind of thing. It's not gonna fall off. Nope, fell right on me. It doing exactly what I feared it was going to do earlier in the video. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh man, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Oh, man. Oof. It really do be a beautiful day, though, I ain't gonna lie on. Now, the quality of the cigar as a whole is pretty good. It's not coming apart by any means. You know, it's a good quality cigar. Taste is not taste is not exactly to my preference, but uh, no, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah. But I'm feeling so relaxed right now. I'm feeling so chill right now. Man, oh man. I'm just feeling good, y'all. I'm just feeling good. Honestly, though, the taste of this is making me want an Aston Blondie. It's making me want an Aston Blondie. I will admit. Because I'm just kind of, I keep smoking this and I'm kind of like, man, I just wish it was a little bit sweeter kind of thing. I wish I just, I just wish it had like a little bit of sweetness to it. I know that the point of this cigar is that it doesn't have any sweetness to it, but I'm, I, I like my, I like my smoking products to be, to have a sweeter taste to them kind of thing. Um, this is making me want an acid blondie though, because this basically tastes like an unsweetened acid blondie. Is pretty much what this tastes like, um, which is interesting because this is not infused, not flavored, whereas the acid blondie is infused, flavored, whatever you want to call it, kind of thing. Um, so it is kind of interesting um, how this does taste oddly similar to that, even though this is not infused or flavored. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, definitely would not mind. Smoking massive blonde young Oh
Damn, I'm wanting some food though. <laughs> I could totally eat a sandwich right now, like put my cigar down for like five or 10 minutes or something like that. Maybe not like five or 10 minutes, but like for a minute or two, take a bite of my cigar, smoke some more, take another bite, take another bite of my cigar, take a bite of my sandwich or something like that kind of thing. I could totally go for a, I could totally go for a sandwich right now. I had a Philly cheesesteak last night for dinner, and I ain't gonna lie, it was some gas. I want a Philly cheesesteak while I'm smoking this. <laughs> I want a Philly cheesesteak while I'm smoking this. Philly cheesesteaks are so good. It's gluten-free, dairy-free Philly cheesesteak. It was some gas, I ain't gonna lie. It was so damn good. And it would definitely go, I would love a Philly cheesesteak while smoking this. Although, I will admit, Greasy fingers, because of course, I mean, like it's a Philly cheesesteak, the bread is going to be greasy kind of thing. How could it not be? You can't have a Philly cheesesteak if it ain't greasy kind of thing. Uh, greasy fingers and cigars definitely don't go together. Um, so maybe you get like a little bit of a cigar holder and then be like, oh, I'm holding my cigar with the cigar holder and that's how I'm smoking it kind of thing. I might have to do that if I was to have a greasy food with a cigar. Perfect healthy mixture. Greasy food and a cigar at the same time. Oh, you know, staying healthy. Excuse me. Wow. Oh. Man, I'm so glad. I picked up this cigar yesterday. And uh, in, in preparation to smoke today. And I'm so glad I decided to make this video today. It is a beautiful day to have a cigar. Besides the wind, it's perfect weather. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So glad I opted to uh, make this video today, that is for sure. Because this is a fantastic experience. I'm just feeling ch so chill right now. Feeling so good right now. No complaints on my behalf. That is for damn sure. Ah, I tried to exhale through my mouth and my nose at the same time to see if that would help with the burning at all, and it did not, not at all. Nope, 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 did not help at all, I ain't gonna lie. Did not help at all. Oh, man. I'm feeling good, though. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's the perfect temperature where there's some bugs out, but it's not like there's an ex any extreme amount of bugs out by any means. There's some wasps fly, flying around where I am. Um, because there's a trash can off camera. Um, but they're just chilling kind of thing. It's windy enough where they kind of have to struggle to stay where they are. So with the wind, the very nice weather, and the lack of bugs, is a very good experience. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Very good experience. You can definitely tell the smoke is getting hotter as we get towards the bottom though. I don't know if it's just my lips kinda getting a little bit raw because I've been taking so many puffs of this when I'm not used to taking puffs of a cigar. Or if it's the actual smoke getting hotter. 
but very interesting. I'm thinking I might need another, ta uh, another taste, another sip of water. Excuse me. I will admit though, I do kind of got to piss. So I think I might take another couple hits, take another couple puffs, let you guys know my final thoughts on this cigar while I'm taking a couple puffs. And then I think I might go ahead and end this video right here. Go take a piss. I ain't got that much left to save anyway, so I'm not going to come back to it or anything like that. I'm just going to stub it out and uh, enjoy the rest of my day, I think. I think that's pretty much the plan. Definitely uh, I drank like a whole bottle of water before this video and then drinking another whole bottle of water. Definitely making me have to piss a little bit. So, and since I'm in a public park right now, I'm not, I'm not leaving my stuff where it is and going to take a piss because I got to walk like a block that way to go take a piss. I ain't doing that. I ain't that much of a trusting person. That is for damn sure. But what are my overall thoughts on this cigar? I don't think it's bad at all. It's definitely different from what I normally smoke. That is for sure from my preference. Let me put it that way. It's definitely different from my preference but not bad at all if I do say so myself. I'd have to say you get sort of a uh, unsweetened hot tea sort of taste and the roughness is kind of spicy. So it kind of comes off like a sort of like spicy, sour, hot tea-like taste with very little sweetness in there. Although there is a hint of sweetness in there, it is very minuscule, I will admit. These are a little bit rough kind of thing, but for $12, I feel like you got a pretty good smoke kind of thing. It, smoke, it burns for a pretty long amount of time. If I wasn't about to go take a piss, I think I'd have another solid 30 minutes to 45 minutes of a smoking experience left to go. So I mean like for 12 bucks for an hour and a half, almost two hours of fun, uh, you certainly can't complain that is for sure. It's pretty good value for money if I do say so myself. Um, and I, overall, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, the actual wrapper that was on the cigar, pretty nice looking, pretty unique look. I like the whole sort of, uh, I guess like sugar skull look or something like that kind of thing. I like that whole sort of look. It looks pretty good if I do say so. Must have a, de a decently unique look from what I can tell. Although I'm by no means a cigar connoisseur, so maybe it's a common look, but from what I can tell at least, it is not a common look. But no, for 12 bucks, this cigar isn't bad. It's definitely not going into my, uh, into my favorites by any means, but if I was in the mood to smoke a cigar that wasn't super sweet, that still had an interesting taste, that was still high quality and burned for a long time, I'd be going to this cigar, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But I definitely do prefer a sweeter smoking cigar, a sweeter tasting cigar. So, uh, and that's pretty much why this cigar is not really going into my uh, top couple, that is for sure. But nonetheless, this has still been a very enjoyable experience. I'm feeling really good right now, feeling really chill right now, feeling really relaxed right now. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And uh, it's been great to smoke a cigar with you guys today. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Would I buy this cigar again? Yeah, as I'm sure you guys can probably tell, I would buy the cigar again. Um, but I would have to be in the right mood. I would have to be wanting this specific cigar. I'd be wanting to, I would have to be wanting this specific taste to buy the cigar again. If I just wanted to smoke a cigar, I'd be picking one of the cigars that I know of that's sweeter, that I prefer a little bit more kind of thing. But if I wanted a sort of unsweetened, sort of hot tea-like taste, I would not mind buying this again, but I'd have to want to want that taste, that is for sure. I don't think I have anything else to say about this cigar though. So uh, as such, I'm gonna go and take, I think one, two, maybe three more puffs. And then after that, I'm gonna go and end this video right here. And I will admit the buzz of this cigar has given me is pretty solid. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I'm feeling very relaxed right now. Feeling very chill right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Alrighty though, y'all. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me smoke a $12 cigar in today's video. I will admit, it certainly was a pretty decent experience. Pretty decent experience. Not really the most amazing experience ever, I'd say, but uh, a pretty decent experience nonetheless, that is for sure. And uh, definitely a very enjoyable experience, that is for sure, as well. I uh, certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me smoke a $12 cigar in today's video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, you know, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.